What's up guys? I am uh, I am still bumming it in the same hoodie that I wore yesterday, but it's my last day of vacation. I'm back to the dealership tomorrow. Uh, today, I wanna just kind of briefly go over uh, a logo that I created for myself for like the Dave B brand. Uh, this is also something I was working on last month in September, which also took away time that I could have used uh, to make videos. But um, you know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I'm gonna take you into my computer here into Adobe Illustrator and kind of show you what I've been working on, like on this page here. Uh, these were just like, you know, when you create a logo, you got to look at like, what do you want? I wanted a D and I wanted a B for Dave B. And I wanted to kind of capture something that had to do with, you know, either selling cars or cars or the street or, or something. Uh, so that's where these yellow lines come in. Like I was trying to make like, you know, the D and the B, as you can see in this top logo here, with these yellow lines as if they were like the, the lines on the street, you know, something like that. They didn't really like it. They didn't really care for it. Um, I was messing around with a D and a B in lowercase, you know, kind of playing with the, the direction of where the, the letters are, um, you know, selecting each one, moving them around, doing whatever I can do to try to come up with something uh, that I liked. And I just, I couldn't. Um, I was also going lowercase D, capital B, capital D, lowercase B, you know, trying all these different things. I had been working on this periodically for a while and just never really found something that I liked. And then one day I started looking at just the D and the B, and, and I sat down here for, it had to be three hours. I was on a computer just messing around with stuff. And uh, ultimately I started rotating the D. So I spun it around like that, and I looked at it from a distance, and I was like, huh, it kind of looks like almost a face, like if you turned your head sideways. So I rotated it upright, and I came up with that, and I was like, well, you know, it looks kind of goofy. What does it mean, right? It, nothing, it's a D and a B. So. It just doesn't really do it for me. So I spun it the yellow way. And when I spun it the yellow way, all of a sudden I caught the sunglasses. And I was like, wait a minute. That looks like that could be sunglasses. Um, let me take a look here. So you go in and you select each one of these little anchor points with your selection tool. And once you do that, you can copy and paste and you get the inside of that letter B. I changed that to blue, I slid it in over the, the white section there, and all of a sudden I said, ooh, I think I have something here. Although it's too upright, I need it to be wider. So, you know, you select everything, I stretched it out wide, and as soon as I did that, I saw it, and I was like, that's the glasses, that's my forehead. Like this, this I'm on to something now. So the next step would be, let, let me look at my profile picture, because my profile picture is my face with the, the blue sunglasses on, so I popped that in to the image and then I started looking and said, okay, I'm on to something here. There's the glasses, there's my forehead, all I need is my hair. So to do the hair, you take your pen tool, or if you look on the left side of the screen here, this tool, you can just kind of go in and outline and create whatever shapes you want. So I'm gonna do this real fast, uh, just to kind of show you how I traced basically the top of my hair. Now I'm not doing it exactly now, but it'll kind of give you the idea of what I did to get to the end result. Uh, once I did that, I just basically followed the letter D here, connected it, changed that color to black as well, and boom, I had my hair. You know, so, whoa, where'd my hair go? Hold on, copy, I put it in the wrong layer. Paste, there we go. Put my hair back on here get rid of the profile picture in the back, and boom, the logo was created. I can't tell you how excited I was when I did this and when I came up with this because suddenly now I have something that, that brands well to me. It's like I'm always wearing the glasses in the video. They got the blue lenses, I can do that, the hair, the forehead, and it's the D and it's the B. So it really just worked out well. This was the finalized version here uh, where I kind of really had to fine tune exactly how I wanted it, how thick I wanted the letters and all that sort of stuff. And if I scroll down here, you'll see I added the Dave B, the little blue line, and the sales Chevy. So, like, if I wanted to make a polo shirt for myself, I can get that embroidered on a shirt, Dave B sells Chevy. You know, like, I think it fits real well. But what I'm even more excited about is the fact that the logo by itself, to me, seems cool. I think it'll look cool on a hat. It'll look cool on a shirt. It would be cool on a keychain. And it doesn't say Dave B sells Chevy. You know, it's just the image. I think that's uh, that's really what I was looking for. I was looking for something that if I made a shirt or I made something, 
it wouldn't be something that, you know, since I wouldn't want to wear. Like maybe maybe when I hit 10,000 subs, I have a couple shirts designed that I give out some for free or I have them available for purchase. Like who knows uh, where this can go. And also I think this will stand the test of time where let's say in the future I'm not selling Chevys, but I'm still doing something with YouTube. I just drop the sell Chevy. I can put whatever I want there. I could add, you know, Dave B runs marathons. You know, who knows? It could be literally anything. I can change the colors of the lenses. Uh, I have some possibilities here. So this was just a small quick video about the logo, how I designed it, you know, how I came up with the idea. I figured I'd share that with you. Again, this was something I was working on for quite a while. Uh, it did take a lot of my time up in September. And not only that, once I did this, I got so excited, I did start designing some t-shirts and all sorts of different stuff, which, you know, maybe I'll roll out in the future and kind of show you that. But um, yeah, the official Dave B sell Chevy logo. It's now a watermark. If you look at the bottom side of the screen there, you'll see it. You can click on that and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, if you have any questions about Adobe Illustrator, maybe creating your own logo, something like that, I'd be happy to kind of give you any feedback or give you any help that I can. Uh, so definitely drop that down uh, in a comment section or reach out to me on Instagram or so. Uh, by the way, I'm on Instagram. So like for the month of September, I didn't put any videos out and I was getting a lot of DMs about like when's the next video. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out there because I do put stuff in my stories and stuff like that, you know, periodically throughout the, throughout the, the day and the week uh, as well. But anyway, thanks for watching this little video. Uh, I just wanted to share this with you. And uh, tomorrow we are back to work, back to selling cars, back to making YouTube videos, and uh, back to the grind. So I'm ready. Let's get it done.